Okay folks, time to shuffle the pack and play ourselves some Leap of Fate with me, Jamie from randomizeuser.com. Leap of Fate is a magical based arena fighting game where each level is defined by the cards that you are dealt. Um, so yes, I came into this expecting a clone of Hands of Fate, but it isn't, uh, not really. Um, the focus here is on the combat. The randomly dealt cards here simply provide a kind of roguelike level select map, whilst also throwing in opportunities to get free gifts, go shopping, or take on optional challenges. You work from the top, um, unlocking more cards as you go down, with many of the cards throwing you into a combat arena, such as this one. And somewhere hidden in these cards is a guardian, which needs to be defeated to complete each set of cards. And we also get random missions for each level, which are kind of challenges to aim for, but they are optional, and they help unlock things, as you can see. Right, okay, so let's go into our first combat. So it is a roguelite, each permadeath playthrough is different, there's loads of skills to unlock, um, and some things carry over between games to encourage repeated play. Oh, that's a, that's a gap. <laughs> so yeah, this, this first level is always set on the rooftops, but things change later on. Uh, where's... Where, oh, there's some health, but I don't actually need it. This one is a, is a two skull challenge one, so the rewards are better than a one skull one, but you have to defeat two waves of enemies. You have a primary attack, which is this um, left mouse unlimited ammo type thing. Oh, there's some nasty birds here. Uh, um, there's also a limited um, uh, special attack on your right mouse button. Let's try and demonstrate that. Um, at the moment it's just a basically a more powerful fireball, but that can change as you go along. There's also a third um, skill called your shadow walk. Just try and demonstrate that by moving the cursor over here and pressing space. And that can leap over gaps and hurt people if you've got the right things unlocked. Actually, before I teleport out of here, now I've got the treasure, and I can, can quickly grab that. Right, so press E to teleport, and we're out of here. So the next cards? Oh, <laughs> two more combats. The left hand one is harder, but has more treasure. So let's have a go at this one. Combat modifier. Your glyph produces random effects each activations. Uh, okay. Um, what was that? <laughs> Never seen that before. Right, okay, let's just shoot. So it's again, it's another, it's a different uh, map, but it's the same sort of rooftops, kind of city apocalypse type state of affairs. Well, that was quite straightforward, although there is that matey boy. Some things outlined in red do explode. Let's have a go with that. There we go. Uh, right, so one of my mis optional missions at the bottom, it's saying like, um, uh, get, uh, you, uh, I've got to get 75 mana from from basically using special attacks. Like, um, oh, that's my, oh, it's attack, it's changed. Oh, so my my secondary attack is now random. It keeps on changing every time I fire it. Oh, so that's what it meant. Um, meanwhile, here's a, a card I've picked up, um, and here's some... Bloody hell, that was an easy one. And here's a lot of treasure. Uh, I didn't even see what that was. <laughs> I mean, it gets quite chaotic at times, this. Right, so a special golden mega card has um, opened up. I need to use one of my keys, which I've collected elsewhere. Oh, I've also got this. Um, I've collected the clockwork key. There's one hidden on every level. Um, hang on, can I even do this yet? Um, I think so. Oh, no, I, I, need to, I haven't actually collected the clockwork key yet. Um, which, is a, there's one per level, but it's hidden somewhere. But it's, it's um, encouraging me to pick this bonus extra card, which was a result of picking up that question mark card in that level. It's all very confusing, this. There's, <laughs> there's a lot to learn. Um, but using that key has now unlocked me some extra treasure, which is a lot of mana plus some... This is a kind of cash <laughs> which spend which you spend on certain things. Um, that's your mana, by the way. Um, which you spend on things like skill upgrades uh, when you're allowed to. Right. Okay, so I can also unlock this uh, mystery card, which will be the same sort of thing. Um, so I've spent all my keys now. Uh, but this has given me... What's that? Um, oh, it's given me something special on my primary attack. I think that's upgraded that. Plus it's given me some health and a couple of and a load of mana as well. Um, so now it's... Well, oh god, bloody hell, we've been granted an upgrade as well. This is the skill tree screen. So I can go into either mobility or attack, because I've got enough mana for that. So let's go into here. These carry over between playthroughs, by the way. Um, so I can choose reach. The range, the range of your basic attack is increased. Um, or maybe they don't carry over. Oh, I'm, I'm not actually quite sure. Sometimes it... I don't know. Right. Yeah, let's go for that one because it um, increases my range. That would be very useful. Uh, that's unlocked one more combat card, but I don't see a huge amount of point in doing that one. Um, let's go to the shop because we haven't done that yet. Um, we've got 346 mana, so let's see. Destiny runes? Energy cell, which is those blue things. Um, energy, energy cells are what powers your special attacks, your right mouse button, and your third space one, your shadow walking. 
What I'm going to do, I think, is go for Destiny Runes, because I have no idea what that is. So it's given me that. Pick it up. Oh, the Deck of Fate has been modified. So let's get out of here. Oh my goodness. What the fuck is this? Alright, never seen that before. And uh, what's it done? Oh, it's not telling me. Whatever it is, it's not active yet. I think it'll prompt me when it is. Um, you can go back into old cards, by the way, if you want to pick something up. I think there's some health in this old mystery card, um, but I don't actually need that. So, let's go into this combat. Let's just see if we can pick up a few more things before we actually take on the Guardian. Nice, straightforward. Uh, this this shouldn't take too long. For these bloody eye creatures. Yeah, no, that's a simple one-way combat. All it gives me, though, is mana, which ain't great. So let's get out of here. And that's unlocked another combat mission if I wanted to do that. Let's just have a look at, another look at my missions. Um, collect 75 mana by performing special skills. Um, and I could also use explosive obstacles to kill three creatures in one thing, and then I'll complete that mission. Um, if I complete one more mission, I'll un unlock a new thing. Uh, another permanent upgrade. Right, so let's actually try and um, um, go for the level one mission. Um, which will mean I'll go into another combat thing. So, in fact, let me just do that as well. And, yeah, that's that's, um, that's helped towards both missions. Oh, hang on, let's just do that as well. So if I kill three enemies by exploding things, that'll get me a mission sorted. Let's try that. Uh, oh, quick, 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 quick! And so it's got me some mana as well. I got let's um, use my right mouse to try and get those. Uh, yeah, so I've got some mana through that. That's 47 out of 75. That's not enough. And um, I've got, got very limited charges as well. Oh, right. Okay, this isn't going brilliantly for my missions. And there's one more explodey thing. Let's try and tempt them over here. No, I didn't do it. Hmm. Right, okay, let's just clean this level up. Yeah, I've, 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 I've lost all my secondary um, attack charges, which is rather annoying. Well, it's actually about my third attack, isn't it? Right, anyway. Get that, get that. I think that's everything. And teleport out. Right, so yeah, I didn't manage to get any of my missions sorted. Oh, a free gift! This is why it's worth checking out as many cards as you can. Uh, free gift. Um, oh, extra extra charges just when I don't need them. And also a free key, which will be handy for Summit. Oh, I've collected the clockwork key, by the way, um, at some point. So I can now go into here and choose one of these three things. Um, let's go for a let's go for a glyph. If I've gone for the upgrade, I could increase my skill tree again. So what's this glyph? Path of the Initiate. Ooh, I wonder what that does. Right, right click. What the hell is that? Ah, okay, so that my, my right click attack is now some lava, <laughs> which doesn't last forever. But that'd be, yeah, that'd be quite useful. Um, okay, so let's finally take on the Guardian. Uh, the first wave is just a regular wave. Um, oh god, there's like those screechy horrible legals. So yep, yeah, straightforward with these. Um, also, oh, a rather handy extra bit of health. Now we come to the Guardian, which will be a randomly random one. There's a, there's a couple of different guardians it could be. It turns out it's the boring turret. So this isn't a very a very interesting one. It just sits there and fires out a lot of stuff. So take on the regular baddies first. Now let's try and use our glyph on it. Uh, oh no, I missed! <laughs> Damn it, I, was, I did it too fast. Okay, let's try that again. I'm also shooting while I can, using my increased range to full advantage. Um, there. It's kind of like sat on... Oh, light, that's really killing it. Oh, that was handy. I bet it regrets not being able to move now. <laughs> right, that's health. Um, nothing else here. Now I've got a bit of um, um, I've got to talk to a basically a great big eyeball. Um, some plot for the lads. There he is. I was wondering how much longer you'd stay on the run, Neil. You made the right choice coming to the crucible of fates. Right, so this um, this Eon character is one of four you can play. You can only play one to start with, and then you can unlock them, unlock more as you complete missions. Toughness, increase your maximum health by one. I don't even need to read the rest, that's um, that's what I'm going to go for. Oh, look at that. I'm still five units of health, I've got six. If you choose the big Mo character, who is the first one you can unlock, he already starts with six, which is rather handy. So this is level two now. Um, level two missions, um, defeat the Guardian with a special kill. Oh, that'd be hard to remember. And we've got the explosive mission as well. Um, okay, so let's have a look at the new levels cards. Uh, the future is now. So this will be set in kind of like a high-tech science lab. All these levels. 
that just blinks at me. Reveal the guard. Oh, that's what it does. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure when I pick this up, but it allows me to see what card. There it is. That card will be the guardian card, and we can't go straight to it just yet. Okay, so let's go for a basic combat then. I oh, just noticed that um, extra life point doesn't actually give you the life point, it just like, increases the maximum. So I've still only got five for the time being. Was that it? Oh yeah, let's just get the treasure and we'll be done. Mana. Just a little bit of mana. I haven't actually been spending much mana recently. Uh, oh no. A two combat or a really difficult three combat. Well, I'm fairly healthy. Um, is, this is permadeath, by the way. There's no continues unless you manage to get at least 100 of those kind of pyramid-type things in the top left. I've actually got 150, so it will actually grant me a continue. And you can only use one per run, though. So it's not like um, you can't just like bank up like hundreds and hundreds of those things to spend on infinite continues or whatever. Oh, these those things are quite tough. Uh, okay, that's it. Uh, I'm having quite good luck in this run through actually. There's there's not been oh actually I haven't seen him before. Oh well actually I did about five seconds ago, but no did actually realise he did that horrible attack thing. I'm actually getting hurt there. Hang on. I should actually start using my. That's too late. <laughs> I'm really, just relying on my primary attack at the moment. I'm, I'm completely missing out on things like Shadow Attack. Um, shadow Attack, you can upgrade to make it hurt baddies. I think when you start it, it's sadly just... Um, all it is is kind of like a teleport. Gets you out of bad situations. Kill. Kill. There we go. Nice and straightforward. Uh, oh yeah, look, I've got even more. I've got up to, what, 160? Get some health. And leave the level. So it is quite different to Hands of Fate. I mean, the combat here is very much magical, ranged stuff, rather than the kind of sword and shield type stuff that you see in that other game. And also, the other game does seem to have a place a larger emphasis on the whole sort of dealing cards and adventures and stuff like that. Whereas this one, the cards are fairly sort of... Uh, it's like it's just a mechanism, really. Right, so what do we want? Those runes are confusing as balls. Um, let's get some... Let's get a mystery card. Why not? The Deck of Fate has been modified. Let's get some runes. If I wanted to be a really big spender, I could spend 25 of those on 500 mana. But there's not really much huge amount to spend on at the moment. What I'm hoping for is an upgrade card so I can actually upgrade my skill tree again. And I've got... What's that? What's that? It was bloody runes. They've altered things. <laughs> I don't know what. Uh, can I go straight out to the Guardian? Oh, hang on. Before we do that... I forgot. The deck has been modified. Um, I've got a, a locked mystery card, so I can spend a key. Uh, let's see. What is this? Oh, cool. Okay, I've got an extra bonus um, charge for my... Uh, what is it? Is that the, sh that is the shadow attack? The shadow walking attack. I always get that, that, that one and that one mixed up. So if I've said anything to the contrary early on, I do apologise. Uh, right, it's the combat. I might go straight on to the Guardian, because I haven't actually seen the level 2 Guardian just yet. Uh, Oh, gold. Yeah. There's some great big heart things that are really quite nasty. Because they have an aura around them which um, hurts you. They're sending out green goo. That's not good. Um, this this, um, this uh, floor attack that I've got on my right click, which I haven't been using. That's actually quite difficult to set up. Oh, he's the guardian. So let's try let's try it on him. He looks like he's going to move, though. Let's, there! There! Oh, no. We just ran straight through it. Oh, there's also one of those horrible aura things. Okay. Right there. Oh, this is, this is a much faster moving one. And also, I'm trying to avoid that blue aura, which um, that other baddie is sending out, which is most unfair of it. <laughs> oh, I've mean, actually almost done it. I, th I think my left, my basic attack is actually quite strong. I think I might have upgraded it at some point, which I've now forgotten. Uh, there's actually another baddie. This is, this is the aura baddie, which I just need to... There we go. All straightforward. I'm having a really good run now. I've never actually got this far. And this now I'm actually doing a bloody recording, which usually makes me worse. Um, achievement unlocked. Dental work. All right. This place strips people of their humanity and throws them away afterwards. Hmm, quite similar to the Cabal, come to think of it. Ah, you eyeball prick. Come on. Let's, let's see level three then, because I haven't actually seen this yet. Set enemies on fire when shadow walking. Yes. I'm actually going to do that one. Failed. Oh, fuck you with your failed missions. Uh, level three mission. Complete level 3 by taking no more than 5 damage. Bloody hell. And also kill 15 creatures with Shadow Walk in level 3. That's mo a bit more possible. Right. Let's see what the cards are going to deal is in the true face of magic. Level 3. Uh, 
Uh, start with your basic combat card, so let's just leap straight into this. Oh, wow, this is a new arena. Oh, dicks. Oh, they're horrible. I already hate these things with a passion I cannot even begin to explain. Uh, okay. Um, those are a bit more straightforward. Let's, um, let's guard ourselves. Although they, they do seem to be not coming towards me now. I think they're, they may be static buggers. Oh, there we go. Um, treasure chest. Follow the arrow. Oh, it's a fucker. It doesn't, I haven't got a key for that. It's only a small treasure chest as well. Okay, well, I can come back in here if I, if I actually remember once I've got a key. And um, if I get a gift, there's actually a key here. So grab that and also an energy cell. And now let's go back onto there. Um, and go get the treasure. There we go. And I bet it's just mana. It bloody well is. I, <laughs> I should have known. It's all, it's, they are random, but the, the small treasure chests generally are a bit pump. Right, okay, let's try and shadow walk this time. Oh! oh let's not. Okay, so I was actually doing some harmful damage to them, but in the chaos I wasn't quite sure what was going on and I did lose some health. Oh! Right. Okay, shadow walk. Shadow walk. Ah! There we go. D destroyed him by teleporting through him. Uh, health. There's actually some health, which I desperately need right now. Right, second wave. Because this is a two-skull difficulty level. Um, oh, I hate these things! <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. Uh, they do panic me somewhat. Right, there, 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 and there. Is that it? Treasure. Better treasure this time. But not really. Just more energy cells. Right. An upgrade? Yep, we just go into the skill tree. Hopefully, um, it'll give you something really expensive to buy. Uh, but the skill tree is the skill tree, so... 590? That is expensive as balls. Well, that's really that's a lot more expensive than it used to be. I've seen this thing before, and it was not that expensive, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, this is a different one. Um, f following a shadow walk, your special skills yield... Nah, yeah, fuck it. Um, third eye, yeah. It's really expensive, but sod it. For the video! Right. So I can actually see what's going on later on in the deck. Um, can't unlock that. So... Yeah, okay. This is going to be a really difficult combat. Um, are those fucking things that just roll in from the sky? What the hell is that? Actually, these are... Nothing's as quiet as tough as I first thought. Oh, what? I don't know what's going on there, though. That, that looks quite terrifying. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Right, let's put that there. Leave some damage. Shadow walk! <laughs> I... Oh, oh, oh. I have one health. Uh... One more thing. I've got to do this without dying, without being hurt once. Fuck. Ah! Crap. Right. Crap. I'm, I'm, I'm being cornered. I'm cornered! Ah, fuck. And that's it. That's game over. Or is it? Uh, I've been collecting these triangle things. So let's continue. Available only once per game. So, we'll do that again. This time with six health. But will it be enough? Da, 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 da. <clears throat> kill, kill, kill. This is, yep, this is a bit more like it. Although I don't like him, he looks like he's got fiery attacks if he bothers to ever use them. He really isn't doing much there at all, is he? Um, okay, he was fairly harmless after all. Um, first of all, go for the spikies. Um, oh, oh no, oh no. If you choose the big Mo character, by the way, um, you do start with a different um, main attack. You get a kind of beam that recharges after a while, rather than this... Um, unlimited ammo. Bang, bang, bang. Right. Next wave. Um, I've done it again. I've just been completely overwhelmed. I, these things are horrible. Oh. oh, I keep on forgetting to shadow walk. Shadow walk! Uh, oh, no. It's, I've run out of fully charges. That's bad. I've got no charges for special attacks. And thankfully, I think there's only one guy left. And he's one of those weird ones which I don't fully understand. Is that it? Yes. What's that? What's the clockwork key, I think? Right. Let's get out of here. Let's go to here. Let's unlock our gift. What shall I have? Uh, let's go for another glyph. I have a feeling I'm not going to last much longer. So, whatever, really. Let's see what I've got. And it's a... Head Shrinkers. Ah, okay. So it's another kind of ranged attack. Some sort of poison dart by the looks of it. Leave that. Go on to the shop. Why was I... Someone laughed at me. Oh, the shop's fucked. Oh. I don't like this shop. This shop's fucked. And uh, what's this? 
break the chains for t by sacrificing two health? This is very Isaac. What can I even do? Can I get out of here? I can't. What the fuck? I can't spend my four lightnings because I don't have them. I don't have two keys. I don't even have mana. So, essentially... Oh yeah, pay a toll to exit. I didn't see that. Oh good, I'm going to sacrifice myself to continue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that was a great ending. <laughs> oh, that was, it was fun though. This is a really fun game. And I've unlocked Vengeance for the future as well. Uh, oh, here we go. One last thing. And this is a kind of like wheel of mission unlocks. So I've completed Mark 5 and I got whatever the hell that was. Um, which is all rather jolly. Yes, there we go. I saw, I've only unlocked one extra character, Big Mo, as I've been mentioning throughout. But there are two others. I can unlock um, him or her by completing four more missions. And that one, um, seven more missions with, presumably, this one. So yeah, there's quite a lot of long-term stuff in this. Uh, and for what I've played so far, um, I've really enjoyed this. It doesn't seem like a rehash of Hands of Fate. It's just some good, solid um, action combat with lots of roguelike qualities. Um, which is all very nice, and I'm going to be coming back to play this quite a bit, I think. Okay, so thanks for watching. This has been Jamie from randomizeduser.com. Subscribe for more playtests and a lot of other stuff as well. And see you next time.